This video covers the benefits of remote desktop hosting, also known as terminal server hosting, for small businesses. Remote desktop hosting allows you to access and run any Windows application from any computer, tablet, or smartphone with internet access. Examples include QuickBooks, custom access database applications, as well as Windows Office, and all other programs that run on a Windows computer. You can customize several options for your remote desktop connection, including the local resources of your local computer, which you would like to share with the remote desktop server. One handy option is being able to copy and paste from your local clipboard to the server. To print to your local printers, you only need to select this checkbox for printers. For more options, select the More button, and here you can see that you can select individual drives on your local computer to share with the server. This makes them available in Windows Explorer, both on the server and your local computer. Under the Display tab, you can also set the size and quality of the window that opens your remote desktop server. You can make it larger or smaller. Your settings will be saved for the server. Once you have them set, simply click Connect to log in. Each user that logs into a server has their own desktop, which they can customize. We will now show you how to add, delete, and disable user accounts on your remote desktop server. You open Computer Management by clicking the Start button and typing Computer Management. Select Local Users and Groups. Select Users. Right-click Users. Select New User. After you have created the user's account, you need to include it in the Remote Desktop Users group. Simply right-click the user, select Properties, select the Member Of tab, select Add, Advanced, Find Now, and you can scroll down or press the R key to see Remote Desktop Users. Double-click that, click OK, and now your user has access to the remote desktop server as well as the applications which you have installed on it. To disable a user's access, right-click the user, select Properties, and check the Account is Disabled box. It's just as easy to enable the account. Loading a program on a remote desktop server is simple and only takes a few steps. You use Add Remove Programs to open Add Remove Programs, select the Windows button, Control Panel, select Programs, select Install Application on Remote Desktop. You now browse out to the install file, select it, install it, and select the Finish button. Each user now has access to the program Each user's desktop includes private folders as well as access to public folders on the server to share files. To access the user's folders, it's as simple as clicking on Documents. In this case, you can see John has his John's Assignment document in his folder. If he needs to access the public folders, he can browse down to it by selecting C colon Users Public he could create a shortcut for this if he often accesses it. We will now log in to the same server as Jane. This is how her desktop first appears when she logs in. You will notice it has the two icons only, unlike John's desktop, which he has customized. Here's John's desktop. Your local printer drivers are automatically installed when you log in to the server if you have selected to share your printers. So any document on the remote desktop server can be printed to any of the printers. In this case, these are loaded from the local machine. Riptide Hosting offers both dedicated server and virtual server pricing for your remote desktop hosting or terminal server hosting needs. On our website, you can find both pricing calculators. Often the choice is determined by your preference and or resource needs. Right now we're on the virtual server price page and you can select how many CPUs you would like realizing that we can easily increase the CPU, RAM, and disk space at a later time with a simple reboot of your server. And what you're going to notice is once you select 
very many resources, you've gone over 200 and let's say $20 in price. At that point, you could have a dedicated server. Our pricing for terminal server and remote desktop hosting is based off the server price for resources per month, as well as the licensing per user per month. So the entry level price of a server that can handle a couple of users based on the resources needed to run the application would be $90 a month plus the cost per user for the licensing for remote desktop services. In this case, we're going to select two users. You could select Office if you need Office. And on the virtual server, you cannot install your own Office or SQL Server. So that's something that also may determine which server you would go with, virtual or dedicated. So there's other options here for security software, server backup, SQL Server. Once again, best with a dedicated server in that you're always going to be able to use four cores because you're going to pay for four cores with SQL licensing. So at the bottom, you would see for a virtual server, two users, $105.50 per month. The process with us is you would submit this to the next page, fill out your information just for your contact information. We would get back in contact with you and then send you a quote. Often we talk to our customers before they ever sign up. You can actually not sign up online. You can just begin the process of setting up your server with us. The dedicated page will have quite a few more options and actually we can build custom servers as well. Depending on what you need, we can order those. All of these servers are Dell rack mount servers made for the data center environment. They all have two hard drives and a RAID 1 configuration for uptime in that if one drive dies, we will swap it out while your server's running and it will load the data back on that drive again. So the prices start at 229 for the Dell R410 and go up from there. Once you select the server, you can then select your CPU. Your CPU can be upgraded later, so if you'd like to start with one to see how that works and then upgrade later, you can do that. Your next choice is how much RAM you would like to have in the server. Then you can select if you'd like more than two drives, would you like four? If you'd like more than four, let us know. So RAID 1's included. Now you have a choice for your hard drives, depending on how much space you need as well as speed. The SATA drives are cheaper and also larger in size. The SAS 15,000 speed drives are faster and more reliable. If you have a need for SSD drives, we can do that as well. Some servers have dual power supplies available and all of the servers include this DRAC, which is a KVM over IP card, which allows you to access the server. Even if the operating system is not working, if you've locked yourself out or if the server's powered off, you can power the server back on. And just like the virtual server page, if you want a remote desktop server, you're going to select a remote desktop server operating system, be 2008R2 or 2012R2. You can now select the number of users to find out the monthly price for licensing. You can select Office if you'd like that. If you have Office 365 and one of the top two tier plans, you can load that on a dedicated server. You can select security software and you can also select a full server snapshot backup. We also have a couple of other backup options as well, including just adding more drives to the server. We have Cisco shared firewall. We can also set up a dedicated firewall for you that you could use as a VPN tunnel back and forth, as well as SQL server licensing and pretty much any licensing for any Microsoft product or Microsoft application we can usually price that out monthly for you. All of our servers, be it virtual or dedicated that we list, have no setup fees and are month to month. We like to say we have to earn your business to keep your business. And we do that by keeping you happy each and every month. Definitely give us a call if you have any questions.